Hey everyone, welcome back to GSA Crypto School. This is John today we're going to talk about a topic that's been generating a lot of buzz in the world of cryptocurrency, masternodes. In this video, we'll cover what masternodes are and why they're important. In blockchain technology, there are three commonly known types of nodes, the ordinary node, the full node, and the masternode. The difference between a masternode and a node are their responsibilities. If the blockchain were a factory, ordinary nodes are the factory workers. Ordinary nodes, simply called nodes, are the foundation of a cryptocurrency and their purposes are to prevent double spending and to secure the blockchain. Nodes are rewarded by contributing to block creation and network consensus. In POW, nodes are miners and in POS, nodes are staking wallets. Full nodes are the factory foreman. Full nodes contain the entire copy of the blockchain in real time, whereas an ordinary node does not contain any such copy. Full nodes can also connect to over 124 other nodes while an ordinary node can only connect to 8. Masternodes are the factory managers. Masternodes are full nodes with extra capabilities. They perform different types of services, such as instant send, private send and storage of the full blockchain, for which they receive block rewards. Masternodes are full nodes in both POW and POS. A masternode is a server on a decentralized network, which is utilized to complete unique functions in ways ordinary nodes cannot. So, what are masternodes? In simple terms, masternodes are a type of node on a blockchain network that perform advanced functions beyond simply validating transactions. Masternodes do not actually add new blocks to the blockchain, but instead only verify them. They also have special managing, governing, and regulatory roles, depending on the blockchain protocol they participate in. The Dash protocol first added masternodes in March of 2014 in a system known as Proof of Service. Masternodes are more commonly found in POS ecosystems, although they can be used in POW ecosystems as well. Masternodes play an important role in maintaining the health and stability of a blockchain network. They help to prevent attacks like 51% attacks by verifying transactions and ensuring the integrity of the network. In return for providing these services, masternode operators are rewarded with a share of the block rewards, which can provide a passive income stream. One way to generate passive income in the cryptocurrency market is by investing in masternodes. Investing in masternodes can be a profitable way to generate passive income but it requires a significant upfront investment and technical knowledge. To operate a masternode, you typically need to hold a certain amount of the network's native cryptocurrency and run a dedicated server that meets the network's requirements. Some popular masternode cryptocurrencies include Dash GSA Coin PIFX and Zcoin. The potential returns on masternode investments can vary widely, depending on factors such as the network's transaction volume, block reward structure, and competition from other masternode operators. It's important to carefully research and analyze the risks and potential rewards before investing in masternodes or any other type of cryptocurrency. Additionally, it's important to diversify your portfolio and not rely solely on hold trade strategy. To recap, masternodes are a crucial component of many blockchain networks. They provide advanced functionality and help to maintain the security and stability of the network. If you're interested in earning passive income with cryptocurrency, running a masternode could be a great option for you especially with GSA. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cryptocurrency content on GSA Crypto School.